January 8th, 1610, German astronomer Simon Marius independently discovers the first three moons of Jupiter, one day after Galileo did the same thing. 1656, the oldest surviving commercial newspaper begins in Harlem, Netherlands. The original paper has merged with a couple of other papers along the way, but it is still sold today as Harlem's Dagblad. 1708, the Spanish Armada headed by San Jose and loaded with gold is sunk after British squadrons attack it off the coast of Colombia. The ships would be rediscovered in 2015. 1790, the first U.S. President, George Washington, delivers the first State of the Union Address. 1867, African American men are granted the right to vote in Washington, D.C., despite President Andrew Johnson's veto. 1877, Crazy Horse and his Sioux warriors fight their last battle with the United States Cavalry at Wolf Mountain in the Montana Territory. 1918 U.S. President Woodrow Wilson outlines his 14 points for peace following the conclusion of the Great War. 1951, thought to be extinct since 1615, a cahal, the Bermuda petrel, is rediscovered in Bermuda. 1962, the Mona Lisa on loan is unveiled in America's National Gallery of Art. It will remain on display here in the States until March of 1963. 1964, President Lyndon Johnson declares war on poverty. 1988, Hewlett Packard introduces the HP-28S, the Advanced Scientific Calculator. 1993, Michael Jordan's game-high 35 points leads Chicago to a 120 over 95 win over Milwaukee. This gives him exactly 20,000 points in 620 games for his NBA career. He is the second fastest to reach this milestone after Wilt Chamberlain. 2002. President George W. Bush signs into law the No Child Left Behind Act, providing financial assistance to schools exhibiting academic improvement. 2023, China loosens travel restrictions and reopens its borders after nearly three years. These are just a few of the things that have happened today, January 8th in history. This has been Mr. Scott with Today in History. Thanks for watching.